Hi everybody, this is Heidi Lestraco from Speak for Yourself and we are introducing a series for introducing an AAC app day by day. So today is our day one suggestions for introducing an AAC app. We're going to go over how to download the app and first, so first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to your app store icon. You can see it along the bottom there. Touch that. If you're downloading Speak for Yourself, you're going to search for the app. So you type it in and touch it. And then you see it comes up. On mine, you can see in the top left corner here um, of the page next to it, it has the word open. That's because obviously I already own it. So if you didn't already own it, it's going to have the price there. You would just touch the price and then you're going to enter your um, password in for iTunes. And then when you click on that and you open Speak for Yourself, it's going to look like this on the main screen. The first thing that we are recommending that you do on day one is to watch the 30 minute introduction, introductory video on our website to um, go over the app. We recommend doing this from your phone so that you can have the app actually open in front of you and be able to um, look at it and follow along with the video. To find the video, you can either go into the app in the top right hand corner. You could touch the little um, daisy settings icon. I'm gonna say not now, but you can definitely say you're enjoying Speak for Yourself and give it five stars. We'd appreciate that. Um, but if you go in here and actually scroll down to the programming guide, you'll see that it links to some online resources. One of those resources is the 30 minute introduction video so you can follow along and get to know the app. So that's one way you can get to it if you do download it on your phone. Um, the other thing that you can do is actually go into um, Safari and go to our website, www.speakforyourself.org. On the tutorials and support page, right in the center on the second row here, you can click on that and you'll see that it has the Speak for Yourself overview video. Definitely worth your time to just watch this with the app open and get to know it a little bit before you start doing anything. The other thing that we wanna let you know on day one is that you can download the Speak for Yourself app onto any devices that you have. So if you have multiple devices, if you have another iPad, you can download it on there as well at no additional cost. So once you have the app, you can use your iTunes account and any other device that's connected to that account, your phone, an iPod, anything else that you have, you can download the app at no additional, um, for no additional cost. The other thing that we recommend that you do today on day one is find a designated spot for the device where your child is able to reach it and where it can be charged so that you start to get in the habit of charging it each night and putting it somewhere that the child's um, able to get to it. So we hope that you found this helpful and we will see you tomorrow for day two.